It's a great remix. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> It is a great remix of a classic song. I'd like to welcome right now Steve Smith from Dirty Vegas. How are you, Steve? I'm good, thanks yourself. Ah, very, very good. Thank you, Steve. You, I, I've, I want to give you a little bit of, of background on Gro- Groove Radio real quickly. Uh, we came yeah. on the internet in the year 2000, and in 2001, we played the original of that song. That oh. w- we had that in heavy rotation. And we've been on the internet ever since, so we've been playing it off and on. And then when we first, I think we got a Dirty Vegas remix and then the Camel Fat remix, and we've been playing that a lot. So I'm super oh, well, excited to meet much. you. And I met, Thank you. I met Paul and Ben at the Coachella in 2012 and talked to them a little uh, bit back then. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you know, I, 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 I don't know why I wasn't at that one. That was the the the, uh, the DJ set on the Heineken stage, was it? Yeah, it probably was. But uh, yeah, I I don't remember seeing their DJ set, but definitely remember talking to both of them. And then uh, on an I do an, a syndicated show called Groove Radio International, and Dirty Vegas is going to be in the mix in a couple of weeks. And I was happy I still had the the Paul Harris ID so I can play that. So you can oh, explain. Fantastic. So so where are you coming from? I'm in London at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for staying up late. We really appreciate that. Well, you know, it's uh, it's 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 the it we just cl- passed into. Uh, well, I don't know what day. You know, with lockdown and everything, I forget what day it is. I think it's Friday it's, morning for you. It's it's Friday now. Yeah, yeah, indeed. The weekend is coming. So you got such a wonderful tan. Where you been? Oh, I would love to say something glamorous, but um. It is. I mean, first of all, we've been very blessed uh, since the lockdown that the UK uh, has, has just received incredible weather. And uh, I've been doing lots of outdoor stuff as we would do, because with the UK, you just never know when it's going to turn bad. So um, <laughs> uh, lots, lots of bike riding in the countryside, lots of trips out to uh, to some of the uh, seaside towns and stuff, and. Um, you know, sitting in the garden with a guitar. Yeah, very good, very good. So how did that Camel Fat remix come about? Um, they, so we, obviously, when, when the guys kind of blew up with a cola track um, and, uh, you know, we, we were fans of their music anyway, and then I, I, I forget the exact way it came in. I think our manager at the time was like the, the boys – you know, it's one of their favorite songs of all time and they, they would love to give it a rework. And, and over the years since the original release, you know, it's been so many, um, you know, times that we've been approached to, to do some mixes on it. <clears throat> and, you know, not, not that we said no for any particular reason other that we just, you know, the original stands as, as we wanted it to, but, yeah. um, you know, when the camel guys, when they, when they wanted to take a, take a, you know, a go at the remix, you know, we were so in love with the music they're making that we just said yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's great. I, I love that remix, and we're playing it here a lot. Now, you've had some changes in the band. I said that I uh, met Paul and Ben at the Coachella, uh, and then, yeah. um, but I guess Ben isn't with Dirty Vegas anymore. Is that right? Uh, not not professionally, no. I mean, we, we speak regularly. We, we've all remained great friends. Yeah. And, um uh, he actually he lives in California. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he he left the UK and um, he lives in sunny California, like yourself. Okay. Um, but you know, we speak regular and stuff. And uh, he he kind of you know, we had a great um, you know a great kind of period of our lives with with Dirty Vegas, and uh, you know he's always been very creative and stuff and. You know, he wanted to go on to do other things, and um, you know, we was was fully supportive of that. Yeah. So you and Paul are continuing. You got a new song that we're going to be playing right now, and I think that when I heard this song, we go, we got to add it to our playlist right away. So, uh, oh, thank you. W- what is the song happening all about, and how did that come together? Well, the so I recently moved back to the UK. Well, actually, it was about six months ago, and. Um, you know, being so close to Paul once again, we've kind of hit the studio uh, 
before the lockdown. Yeah. Um, not obviously not so much since. Uh, pretty much been doing like this. Been on Zoom, making music together on Zoom. Okay. Um, and you know, with some writing sessions and some recording, and and uh, happening was was one of those songs. There's there's other songs that are in the works that you know we we, we um you know we hope we'll see the light of day at some point. Um, but you know. The, even though the title of the song is, you know, or the, the line in the chorus is tell me what is happening. Um, we, this, this song was planned for release before, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now. So, so oh, for okay. us, it just, it just feels like, it's, you know, even more important that, um, you know, the, the song's out. Yeah. So uh, what do you have, what plans do you have going forward? Do you have more songs in the can? Are you going to maybe release an album? Yeah, I, I I I don't know I don't know if an album. Um I mean I'm I'm old school, uh but <laughs> I don't think anybody releases albums anymore, which is a shame. Um I'm definitely part of I love that body of work that has you know, ten, fifteen, you know, twenty tracks even. Um yeah. uh, I would love to do that, but it just doesn't seem that that's the format that people um, you know, wanna kind of uh you know, have an appetite for music for, but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we have songs that, that we're, that we're working on and chipping away at and um, some that come together quicker than others. And, and um, you know, some of it's more kind of deeper and down tempo and um, you know, some of it's kind of a follow on to, to happening. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm telling you, my friend, Steve, that you better get another song ready because Happening is going to be a big hit for us here at Groove Radio. And once we're done with that, we're going to be looking to you for the next one. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You're very welcome. So uh, give us a quick introduction to Happening. How did that song come together? Uh, the song came together, you know, with... Um, you know, as I said, when I moved back to London and myself and Paul Harris were, uh, you know, we felt that after the, the Camel Fat remix that it was time to to put out some new music. And, you know, we're very excited for the release of Happening. And, uh, you know, it's fantastically received here in the UK. Pete Tong played it on um, his Essential Selection, which, you know, is always an honour to be, yeah, yeah. you know, included on that. And, um Thanks for that, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Shout um, out to Pete Tong. Yeah, always. MBE, by the way. So um, uh, he, um, yeah, so, you know, the support on it's been, and, and the reaction's been great. Sadly, as we know, there is no clubs open. So, you know, our our only regrets are that, you know, we, we don't get that, you know, them, them videos or, or that feedback that the song's working on the dance floors. But, you know, it's it's out there. It's on the playlist. It's on the radio stations like Groove Radio. And, um, you know, it just just for us to have new music out, there is such a thrill. Yeah. It's a good way to sum it up. It is happening. <laughs> Thank you so much, Steve. Great talking to you, Thanks, my friend. Man. Thank you. Yeah, you Stay take safe. care. Have a good day in California. Yeah.